I'm here because of the Step It Up campaign on November 3rd. So I'm Amanda Hall and I'm 15. I'm a sophomore at Mount Blue High School, which is in Farmington. Um, and what today is, is it's the Step It Up, it's Step it up 2007 Green Leadership. Which, uh, the purpose, so basically Step It Up is trying to show legislators that like people want them to make a difference and people, it's not just like a few people, it's like a lot or a lot of people that want the action to be taken. The three things are um, an 80% reduction in carbon emissions by 2050. Um, no new coal-fired power plants and more green jobs. Hi everyone, um, I'd just like to get started I guess. Um, I'm Amanda Hall and I'd like to welcome all of you to Step It Up 2007. Right now we have a chance to shape the planet's future through how we handle global warming and that's what the basis for Step It Up is. Um, as I'm talking to you there are over a thousand gatherings just like this one across the country and one thing that all these gatherings and the people at them have in common is that we they all want us to chart, chart a responsible green course for the future. It's not really necessary to go far to find big things you can do to save the planet. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff available right in your own backyard. Um, like wind power, you can do that literally in your own backyard. Um, we all may not be able to build green buildings like the one they're standing in, but we can make the buildings we've got a whole lot greener. While you're here today, I encourage you to look around and get inspired. Paint your finger green, if you haven't already, so we can stand together and demand action. And I'd like to introduce Dr. Theo Calico, who is president of the University of Maine Farming. Thank you, Amanda. Welcome, everybody. I think we're dealing with the most important issue that faces our species, and possibly ever has. Um, it doesn't matter what your label is, this affects everybody. And so we all have to act together in maybe new ways, change our behaviors, and do what we can to save the planet and save the species. That's it. Very simple. One of the goals of Step It Up was to reach out not only to local leaders, but to state and national leaders. So I was really excited to learn that a national leader would like to attend this event. So I'd like to introduce U.S. Representative Mike Misha. As I've said uh, to many folks, that we can have the most powerful military in the world, but we cannot beat Mother Nature. The only way we're going to be able to deal with that is if we work collectively, and that's very important. I'm very glad to see, uh, Madam President, that the university is uh, taking a, uh, a leadership role uh, with this green building that we have here uh, today as well, and I think we've got to continue to make sure that each and every one of us do our little small part uh, and making sure we do have a, a green uh, environment and collectively uh, we can do that. And we, a lot of people ask me about what we're going to do with global warming, uh, the Clean Water Act, the Clean Air Act. We can pass laws in Congress and they are laws. However, the issue that really concerns me that affects the environment, not only here in the United States but worldwide, and that's uh, bad trade policies uh, that we've been dealing with uh, over a number of years. And there are four more trade deals that we have to deal with. So if we pass laws at the federal level or at the state level, if it's in violation of our trade deals, then it goes to a tribunal who make that final decision. And that's what concerns me the most when we look at what's happening with our environment, what's happening uh, with our economy, uh, our workforce is uh, having a third party tribunal decide what's good for us as citizens here in Maine and all across this country. I was also pretty excited to learn that not only did news of this event reach Representative Mishu, but it also reached U.S. Senator Olympia Snow. So I'd like to introduce her regional representative, Diane Jackson. It says, Dear friends, thank you for the opportunity to express my support for Step It Up. 2007 campaign and please accept my deepest appreciation for sponsoring a national day of C climate action today in order to raise awareness about global warming. Global, <laughs> global warming. Um, I commend the organizers of today's event and all Mainers who are participating in the Step It Up 2007 Green Leadership events throughout the state. 
the United States desperately needs to move forward in the fight against global warming by curbing its greenhouse gas emissions, updating our scientific research methods, and improving our ability to fight our, uh, to reduce our carbon footprint, advocating for increased fuel economy standards for all vehicles by working with colleagues on both sides of the political aisle to ensure our country reduces its level of car carbon emissions. I also believe that we need to provide incentives for the market to move forward uh, to move towards energy efficiency and renewable energy. Targeted tax incentives and standards for energy efficiency in commercial buildings, new homes, and the use of more energy efficient appliances. I am committed to raising awareness of global warming and you can be assured that I will continue to be a champion on this issue well into the future. Sincerely, Olympia J. Snow, United States Senator. I'd like to introduce Dr. Drew Barton and he's a professor here at UMF and head of the Sustainable Campus Coalition. To again give all of you a warm welcome and to thank Amanda. She has done a terrific job and this is her party. Amanda designed all this, she got in touch with us, ask if we could help out some, so we're here just as helpers. So this is Amanda's work on climate change for several years. It's connected to my own research on how variations in climate over time have an impact on forests. Um, you know, sometimes it's daunting, and sometimes it's depressing, but it's people like Amanda, young people, who take this sort of initiative that really give me hope and optimism. Um, and I want to really end with a quote from J.K. Rowling from Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince where she says, age is foolish and forgetful when it underestimates youth. Dylan Roberts and I'm in the fourth grade. The greenhouse effect is important to me. Well, global warming is important to me because there would be no earth to live on. There'd be no people. There'd be nothing left of the earth. And it would not be cool. It wouldn't be awesome. It would be really bad because our species would die out. You can plant trees. Stop idling, turn off your car, and you shouldn't throw trash on the ground. Caffeine is made from gas.